Hey everybody, your old friend Razmir is back, and I've got a review just for you. The Princess and the Frog. Traditional hand-drawn animation is back. And I gotta tell you, I was a little worried since the last traditionally animated Disney film was so bad that Disney just stopped making films like that. For almost a decade, we've had to just hold off on Pixar flicks. So, to celebrate the glorious return of hand-drawn animation, Disney has created a second Black Disney Princess. Princess Kida of Atlantis being the first. To be honest, I actually enjoyed this movie more than I thought I would. Real effort was put into the story and the characters, especially my new all-time favorite Disney villain, Dr. Facilier. He's so charming and charismatic and just fun to watch while still retaining that atmosphere of pure evil. <sighs> I wish my magical supervillains were more like that. They're so dark and serious. Razia, you have incurred the wrath of the Elder Lords. Now you must suffer a fate ten thousand times worse than any dead. What are you going to do, rip me apart molecule by molecule and make me feel an eternity of pain? Yes. Oh no, you're going to make me pay my overdue library fine! Much worse! I don't know, it's a pretty steep fine. I lost that library book three weeks ago when I was battling Mexican zombie robots. Again. You must watch a marathon. Hannah Montana show! <laughs> no! I mean, if you're gonna tie me up to a sacrificial altar and seal me in the shadow verse, is a little song and dance too much to ask for? Okay, how about your fate is cursed to go into the shadow verse? Well, it's a start. So, getting back to the movie. The Princess and the Frog doesn't really play out like a grand epic fairy tale of myths and legends. It plays out more like a chick flick, a, a romantic comedy, a date movie, if you will. Not that that's anything bad, you know, we kind of expected that. As you undoubtedly guessed, the lead couple here falls in love and it's very sweet and it's very charming. But don't walk into this expecting another Aladdin, okay? Just putting that out there. Although I think the story would have been more epic if you would have thrown in some poison dart frogs. Isn't that right, little buddy? Oh, yeah, yes. Probably my favorite thing about this movie is, quite simply, the animation. When Disney went back to traditional 2D, hand-drawn, cel-shaded, old-school animation, they knew what they were doing. Man, some of these scenes are just so pretty to look at. I, I, I'd I, almost want to take like little snapshots and print them out and put them up on my wall. They were so fun to look at. You know what? I'm going to give this movie a full price. Yeah, this is worth seeing in theaters with the popcorn and the soda and maybe catching a bite to eat afterwards. In fact, it would make a perfect date. You know, if you were to bring along a certain romantic interest. You know who you are. Well, I'm Razmir, and I hope you enjoy watching The Princess and the Frog. Especially you, Z-Fan. Until next time, later.